The United Kingdom Counter-Terrorism Policing is investigating Russia's involvement in a fire at a DHL facility in Birmingham caused by a bomb planted inside one of the plane's cargo containers, according to The Guardian. A previously unreported incident at DHL's Birmingham warehouse occurred on the 22nd of July. There were no injuries as a result of a fire caused by an incendiary device in one of the shipments. According to The Guardian, the parcel arrived at the warehouse by air, but it was unclear if it was on a freight or passenger plane or where it was headed. No one has been arrested in connection with the Birmingham fire and the inquiry is still underway. Officers are liaising with other European law enforcement partners to identify whether this may or may not be connected to any other similar type incidents across Europe, the police spokesperson said. The UK authorities fear that the Birmingham incident is part of a larger campaign by Russian agents across Europe. Earlier this week, Thomas Halden Wang, chief of Germany's Internal Intelligence Service, highlighted an instance in which a parcel caught fire in the DHL Logistics Center in Leipzig but the fire did not start on the plane transporting the parcel owing to a coincidence. According to prior media reports, the package containing the incendiary device that caused the fire in Germany was mailed from Lithuania and is currently being probed there. Recall Thomas Haldenwang, the head of Germany's domestic intelligence agency, pointed to a significant increase in Russian espionage and sabotage activities in Germany. At present, Germany is investigating several fires caused by incendiary devices hidden inside parcels at a warehouse in Leipzig earlier this year, the country's prosecutor general said. Thomas Haldenwang told a parliamentary committee that Germany had only narrowly escaped a plane crash when an air freight parcel caught fire. The Prosecutor General's office declined to comment on the possible link to Russia, saying that no additional information could be given due to the ongoing nature of the investigation into attempted aggravated arson. German authorities warned businesses in August that dangerous parcels might be in circulation after several incidents in which freight sent by private individuals in a number of European countries caught fire while in transit. Several hundred protesters gathered in central Kiev on Wednesday to demand answers about the whereabouts of their loved ones who are missing in action. Protesters stood for several hours, waving banners of military brigades and holding photos of their missing relatives. The mostly female protesters expressed frustration over what they said was the government's poor communication and lack of clarity regarding the fate of their loved ones who went missing while fighting Russia's full-scale invasion. Lack of responsibility in action from our government brought me here today, said Kitsiak Karina, whose husband is missing in action. We want our government to hear us and our president to pay attention to this problem, she added. Some protesters said excessive bureaucracy and the government's reluctance to disclose the true scale of Ukraine's losses on the battlefield were to blame for the lack of answers. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has partially revealed his five-point plan aimed at prompting Russia to end the war through negotiations. A key element would be a formal invitation into NATO, which Western backers have been reluctant to consider until after the war ends. Zelensky outlined the plan to Ukraine's parliament on Wednesday without disclosing confidential elements that have been presented in private to key allies, including the United States. Я дуже сподіваюся на те, що наш пан президент дуже розумна людина і може все прорахувати так, що після закінчення війни всі полонені та загиблі будуть повернуті. Я думаю, що 100% на 100% з нашого боку і з того боку задля упокоєння всіх душ і відповідно для заспокоєння душ безвісти зниклих людей. Для того, щоб рідні могли вже точно знати, що з їхніми близькими. Тому я сподіваюся, що цей план миру все ж таки допоможе повернути всіх рідних додому, живими або мертвими.
Ось сьогодні мене привела на Майдан безвідповідальність нашої влади, бездіяльність нашої влади. Ми хочемо, щоб наша влада нас почула, щоб наш президент, зокрема, звернув увагу на таку проблему. Бюрократія має місце, але в першу чергу вони приховують реальні втрати. В першу чергу вони приховують полонених, вони приховують те, що вони не відправляють. Вони кажуть, так, ми відправляли евакуацію, евакуація, евакуація, так називаємо. Але еваків немає. 